All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're after big smallmouth again. Um, today I have all day, I'm by myself. Hopefully some big fish catches. We're gonna go for at least 25 pounds today for five. But I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Uh, should be a really great video. Drop shot, guys. Little giant. That fish came right over to it like he wanted it. This is the seventh fish. If I get him in, it's a big fish. Take your time with these fish. You just get one that wants to play. There we go. Got him. That's a heavy fish. Oh, that's a heavy one. That is a good fish. Hunter, probably around the same size as those other ones. All right, guys, big fat, fat giant fish here. Jeez, Let's see where she goes. I cut him off the drop shot again. There we go, guys. Five point, five point oh nine, five point oh nine. Beautiful fish again. Guys. Unbelievable. Seventh fish, all over four pounds. And there he goes. There's one. There's a fish. the biggest fish of the day and drop shot that one I don't know if you guys saw that but well, I don't know if it's the biggest fish of the day but it's pretty close hey right, guys another fish that's my fifth fish I don't think it's five pounds definitely a good one 480 4.80 not five pounds, but all right, guys. A 4.80. Another beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Let's let her go. Ah. Let me show you guys what I caught that fish off. It's this little guy, it's like a shad shape worm, black top, clear blue bottom. That's from skater bait again. And then here's my favorite. I think he calls, calls it mango shad. That thing destroys them. It's like a pumpkin top with some gold, purple, black glitter and like a holographic bottom. So pearlescent maybe. You guys can see, you guys can see that fish right there. My bait is literally right next to him, coming down. Doesn't look too interested in it, but we're gonna throw the drop shot next. Here comes one. 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 You got one coming up. Coming up, coming up. Came up. I don't know if he's. Oh, there he goes. There we go, guys. Here we go, Senko. It's 
So they're a good fish. You just gotta be really patient with these fish. Some bite, some don't. Some might bite one time, some might not bite. First time, they might bite the second time. It's a big fish. I haven't seen him yet, but I don't know if he's gonna, he might call my four pounder, that's for sure. He's definitely doing whatever he wants. Okay, I see my Sanko. Oh boy, that's a big fish. Pretty sure that's a big fish. Definitely not a four pounder. Oh boy. I lift him up. He comes again. Oh, that's a big one. Not as big as I thought. Okay, he's in the net. That's a big one. It's a big fish, you guys. Sanko. Yeah, okay, we can get this out too. He didn't bite it down too hard. Got my Sanko back. Let's see, going at an angle here. All right, guys, six fish of the, well, seventh if you count the foul fish, but six fish. I think that's our first over five pounds. I'm pretty sad that, I mean, it's a giant for sure. Well, that was off that Senko again. I mean, we're in like 15, 20 feet of water. I'm letting it sink really slowly. I thought it was over four. I mean, over five, but it's only 471, guys. 471. 71, guys. Short, but fat, and get rid of her. Get rid of her. There she goes. 471. Oh, it's a giant fish, guys. It's a giant one. There we go. That's a giant fish. Be over five, I think. We're using really tiny hooks, guys. So I have to be really careful. <laughs> Don't think I need to reel up any more. Oh, there's a big fish to the left. Oh, I got him. Got him. That's a big fish, guys. Ugh. That is a big one. Over five, maybe. Let's get, the, let's get the bait out of the mouth. Kind of hard to grab it. Come on. We're going to let him have it. Look at that fish, guys. Pretty big one. Gotta say he's close to five or maybe just a hair over. Let's see, we're working on this 25 pound limit. We need five pounders for sure. Four eighty seven. Just under five pounds again, guys. Four eighty. Seven guys off the uh, I say Senko but it's off the stick bait from Jerry for skitter baits beautiful fish let's get her out of here 487 there she go there we go guys spy bait that's a pretty good fish a couple feet of water <laughs> fish bit it instantly. 
I'll show you guys what I'm using after this too. down the boat here. Put a hundred miles an hour backwards here. That fish came over immediately. Popped it quick. He's not a five pounder I don't think. I'm using such a light 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 bait guys. Get him on this side. That was a great little bite. So with these spy baits, when you feel the bite, you don't want to yank right off. You want to let them load up on it, like you would with a crank bait or something. Just kind of let them load up. Once you feel them load up, then you can give them a little tiny tug. But the hooks are very tacky and sharp. I'd say there's no need to do that. <sighs> Don't pull too hard. Fish is hooked to the side of the mouth. <laughs> All right, we got him. We got him. Ugh. Little butter ball. A little butterball and we're all tangled here in the net so first things first get out of the fish i guess we'll get that out later all right guys so a butterball beautiful butterball off a of spy bait i'll show you guys what that is off the spy bait guys short but really fat second fish of the day two different kinds of baits That one took the spy bait really quickly. Ten feet of water. Four. Ugh. Four pounds right on the dot, guys. Four pounds right on the dot. We shall take it. We're not on our 25 pound pace, that's for sure. But we're just under. All right, let's let her go. We'll take four pounders. They ain't hurting my feelings. See ya. Show the back camera. This is what I'm going for right here. Dual reals. Little dinky spy bait, probably three inches long, I'd say. 2.8, I think, actually, to be exact. He wanted it. Here he comes. I believe this is fish. Oh, yeah, he's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. You guys see that, right? I don't know if he has it or not, but. Oh. Guys, got him. Got him. Oh, boy, that's a big fish. That's a cool, that's cool. That looked like a big fish. You guys saw that coming up. Get the net out. I don't know what, we're gonna net him over here maybe. First fish of the day, he came right up. Like he even wanted it. Pretty good size fish. We don't see him yet. We don't see him yet. It's a good fish. We're in pretty tight now. He was in pretty tight. Oh yeah, it's a good fish, guys. It's definitely a good fish. I'm gonna go over here, I guess. 
<laughs> wherever he wants to go. He's an alright one. Alright, so the first fish that came up after my bait, since I downsized, ate it. Alright, so I'll teach you guys. That's what you want to do. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> oh yeah, I can get it. I was going to say, I thought he swallowed it down, but it's not down that far. Okay. All right, so it's a good sized fish, guys. Definitely a good sized fish. Let's go talk to the camera over here. All right, guys, that's a pretty good start. Not giant, giant, but we're going to measure them out. Not measure them out, but we're going to weigh them out real quick. A 489, guys. A 489 to start. Just under five pounds. Fat boy. Turn that off. Four. All right, guys. 489. Let's get her back in. Beautiful fish. Beautiful way to start. There she goes. So 489. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you exactly what I caught this bait uh, fish on. You guys can see that. You guys can see that. It's a, just a Senko, black and blue. But it's got these bigger and smaller black and blue flecks in it. And it's kind of like a light blue. And these are <coughs> made by Skater Baits. So uh, it's a guy that I had bought off for maybe a couple years now. Um, really great stuff. I used to make my own baits. I really liked my own stuff and I was kind of worried about finding some good quality stuff out there and I tried a few different places didn't like it found this guy he does really great work very good prices and uh, not a whole heck of a lot of uh, time to get them out to you so he ships them right out so check him out uh, skaterbaits.com I believe and he's on Facebook also